It's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... You've been here before? I've never spoken of this to you before, but many years ago, I was a knight here. I reported to the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. The Archbishop? As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. I don't think it was too large. I mean, considering Fotland itself doesn't seem to be... It seems more like the size of Europe. Although I guess, I mean, Europe is a continent. So could Fotland be considered a continent? Or is it a small, or is it a big country? Hmm. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder... Was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? I mean, you should know! <laughs> yes. Born many years after I left this place, I right. wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child. Uh -huh. But I'm afraid we lost her to illness. Wait, I just now realizing what he's saying thanks to playing the Ashen Wolves. I think he's saying that I'm not the child of Citri. And that because Rhea would think that the child that she helped create was born and died in the fire. Then I was born years later after that. You know, basically, I'm, he had two children instead of one. I see. My condolences. Mm-hmm. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? And I don't think she bought it for a second. A fine name indeed. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officer's Academy. Yeah, how about that look for Rhea, too, now that I think about it? If they did die... Huh. Hmm. Under her watch? Like the three next in line to leave? Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? By some bandits? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now. But I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Ah, <sighs> I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. I mean, I could have refused. As a mercenary? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officers Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. I would have liked to have known a little bit about that professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. So, you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. I just remembered I never got Manuela's ending. I planned to save it for this route. Thought it made more sense, but... Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. And the game threw so much shade on Rhea before. If I can speak... Well, of course I can. It's my playthrough. I don't... I certainly would say I look at Rhea right now more favorable than Aelgard. I mean, how could I not? I saved Aelgard's life. Rhea saved not only my life, but the lives of my students as well, and risked herself, well, like, pretty much, I think, put herself on death's row in doing so against Thales. For the gold, in the Golden Deer route, right? Blue Lion route, we didn't even really see her, which was interesting, but... Yeah, the Golden Deer... I, and I sympathize with her plight. 
every single relic is her siblings and yet she manages them she lets the people use them when and not only that the crest themselves Ray expressed anger saying Sotus never gave that power to the humans yet she still she doesn't try to eliminate the bloodlines she just tries to manage it so from what I'm seeing honestly I'm seeing Rhea try the best that she can and probably fail in some certain aspects I've not seen anything on the level where Edelgard would want to do war well I mean again if she wants to remove Rhea from power that's one thing but the rest that's what I wonder. I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. No, but I do think it's a positive correlation. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. Right. It's nice to meet you. I asked both of these already, so I'll go with the physician. <laughs> I look too pretty for that line of work, do I? But yes, when I'm Actually, not teaching, I can be found in the infirmary. You know what? No, no comment on that one. If you're ever lonely, please do come and pay me a visit. I would love to. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuela. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? No briefing, no lesson plans, and nothing. <laughs> Really not know? Fine, I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officers Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. Yeah. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Yeah. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. Yep, yep. To think that the next Emperor king and sovereign duke are all here it certainly is a promising year for the academy i'll say i just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble hmm quite for now i suggest taking a stroll around the academy to get your bearings and when you've a moment please stop by my research laboratory the old man has a point oh and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. You don't say. Good kids, huh? I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. That's not what you meant. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. <laughs> I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. How funny, Seta. You were worried about me. I wasn't the person you need to be worried about. He had so many ops in there and Flane still got kidnapped. Seta, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. 
We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. What are they talking I shall about? continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. What was I reading? Like some kind of teacher's manual? Something like that? They somehow have a way of making this film new every single time. <sighs> I am not liking how I think this route's gonna go. But we'll see. I can't. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, let's not make any judgment calls. And that is our third house. Last place we'll end up. Then you got the blue lines. They really made Rhea look creepy in the beginning. <laughs> of course. All right. Okay. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? Yes. To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. May I ask a favor of you? All right. I'm gonna go ahead and skip most of this. I know what I need to who I need to see. But first... Yes, 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 I know. Before I speak to Edelgard... Wait, did I see Gatekeeper or am I tripping? The heck? Yeah. Hold on. Alright, we'll come back. Let's start with Dimitri. Right, right. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Yeah. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. You could, man, and that's... In any case, welcome to the monastery. That's the problem. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? No need. Okay. Just want to speak to everybody one last time. Hey there. Are you the mercenary who saved his highness? It's an honor to meet you. Okay, so that's the... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, I don't think it's the fact that I saved Edelgard from dying. Just, you know, we were there. Okay. I'm Sylvain Jose Gautier. Feel free to say hi whenever you like. Sheesh, I forget your name is Jose, man. Or you have a Jose in your name. Hi there. You must be the one everyone's talking about. I'm Ash. Great to meet you. This here is Dudu. He serves Prince Dimitri. 
I have heard that you rescued His Highness. Mm -hmm. Words cannot express my gratitude. Should you ever require my strength, please know that I will hasten to repay this debt. Like, I know them now. Like, I, I know them now. I have heard all about what you did from Prince Dimitri. As a citizen of Fargus, I thank you. And of course you would, because you, you guys are friends. He also said you're quite skilled. And he doesn't just say things like that. Yeah. I look forward to sparring with you and beating you. Felix, must you always speak of fighting right away? I understand you now, Felix. Oh, and uh, you may call me Ingrid. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And then... And who's this? You don't look familiar at all. Do you work here at the monastery? Oh, mercy. Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? Okay, I'm, 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 I'm thinking about some things right now. Now that I think about it, that does sound like something Dimitri may have said. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officer's Academy too, then? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. What house would I be in if I didn't roll? That's an interesting question. Okay. And next up. What do you think? Golden Deers. Ah, you must be the renowned mercenary who rescued Claude. Honestly, you should not have troubled yourself over the likes of him. My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You will want to remember it. <sighs> right. Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. See, there we go. Hi, I'm Leonie Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Though, from a younger standpoint, it's more a sign of respect. I get that. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? And no. Leone, he, he never mentioned anything. Oh boy. So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignaz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia Von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. The GOAT! <laughs> The go. How can you just? She just introduces her name like when I, I re still remember when people, when I was impressed by a simple thing like Cynthia did, um, and then somebody said in the comments, of course she did. Like Cynthia had many likes, which by the way, I'm still upset people told me that because they basically told me like Cynthia was a beast before I got to find that out myself. Either way, point is, she's so casual about it right now. She's still the strongest attack on character in this think? game. Well, from a attack standpoint. And finally. Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marianne Van Edmund. I'm not taking out Marianne, forget that. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. One way or another. One way or no, 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 well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. I believe it! Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Which I'm also wondering if Claude said that from a, um, a difficulty standpoint as well. That tends to be something games do. And from what you all said, the Golden Deer had the easiest boss or final boss fight. And not to mention, all right, you know, I've been talking about it, but when I really think about it, Lysithia is one of the strongest characters in this game. She's the only one that I know of, unless Hubert has something that can take on the Death Knight. She's the only one who, whoa, that's, she's got 
many unique abilities. Luna, um, Hades, uh, Happy has that. Um, Dark Spikes T, which I don't know if anybody else has Dark Spikes T. Um, it's, she's got so many abilities. Lysithia, if I didn't have her, so many things would change, so many strategies would change. Then on the opposite side, I had Leone, who I could just put her in enemy lines, and I was like, yeah, she's fine. She's good. Then you got Lawrence's staff, which allows you to attack from far away. And like when I think about what the blue lions had versus the golden deer, I think the best the unit that stood out the most to me was the do, and he was tanky. But golden deer. I'm gonna. I'm, am I gonna go out for limb and say they're the strongest house? Well, again, I did play on hard mode for the Golden Deer, so it's not really a fair comparison. But even in the Blue Lions, I still had Leone doing yeah. stuff. I still had Lysithia doing stuff. As far as healers go, that's hard to say. I don't think Marianne's the strongest healer. I think people said uh, it's a toss up between Linhart and Mercedes. But, um, alright. With that being said, I am leaving those behind. Right, right. From this point on, we're in the Black Eagles. This is the classroom of the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Our house leader is Princess Edelgard. Princess. There are many other nobles among our ranks as well. Yeah, you know what? That's what it is. She feels very Disney princess-ish. Ish. And that's not how I would describe her at all. She's like the opposite. Oh. Wait, what? What the heck? I didn't notice this before. Yo, not it, not it. There's something wrong in this house, man. There's something wrong with this house. No Ferdinand! Oh wait, yeah, you, yeah, you said Ferdinand. Okay, okay, I'm about to say. These two right here. These two make me happy. I'm very glad I never took out Bernadetta. That would be heartbreaking. Bernadetta, this is no stranger. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. Is that not right? Yeah, it was Ferdinand who made me think I had saved her life. Because he phrased it as great debt. But, uh... Actually, I think she's quite... <laughs> no, she's not upset with me, but, you know. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Legitimate son of the Eyre family. The Empire's foremost house. Yeah, I'm... I know what you mean by that. Are you going to join our class? I look forward to getting better acquainted with you. Me too, man. Hello. Me too. Well, aren't you just lovely? Is this your first time in the monastery? Shall I show you around? I'm good. Oh, my name is Dorothea. Before I joined the academy, I was a member of an opera company in the Empire. You should hear me sing sometime. All right. Casper and Linhart. Is it true that you saved Edelgard? That's incredible. The name's Caspar, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Starting to wonder. Linhart, goodbye. Geesh, Linhart. How'd you get into the academy with those manners? No, oh, I mean, he's a noble. So, are you a student here too? Maybe we'll be in the same class. You know, even for my stature, it's like, well, yeah, I guess I could look like a student. I gotta remember, I'm used to me being the professor, so. And besides, I think Hubert's taller than me. Oh, yeah. I am Hubert, a humble servant of Lady Edelgard. Uh-huh. I heard you came to the aid of Her Highness. You have my most sincere thanks. Yeah, really? This is Petra. She has come all the way from Brigid to study in the Empire. I'm aware. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. In Fodland terms, she would be called heir to the throne. Hello. I am called Petra. I am pleased to be meeting with... Uh, no, uh, I am pleased to have met you. Okay. Um, is now a time to say? Ah. When, did I ever address it? I might have been one of the many retakes I've done. I've forgotten what I've told you guys, but... Um... Well, there's no need to say it now. 
Just, I am, we shall see what happens with this house. But uh, as I mentioned before, I don't get that newness. Like, because once again, I've, I, I want to make sure people understand I'm not using it as an excuse for everything. I'm trying to tell you, you know, just how I feel. And how I feel is, I, they're not strangers to me. Sure, I might not know, like, if I had to say, I probably know, like, maybe 20% or maybe even 30% of who some of them are. Like, Ferdinand, I had, Ferdinand's Paralog gave me a good idea as to who he is, the relationship with his family, and, you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. So, and I've been seeing Bernie for, what, two routes now? Um, I also got to know a lot about Dorothea and who she is as a person through many of her supports. Um, and I got to know a little bit more about Casper and Linhart. Um, and again, they both have paralogs. I would say the two I know least about is Hubert and Petra, but Hubert has been with Edelgard for a long time. So I've seen him at least. And then, and then there's Petra, who I have just failed utterly. I can't look at supports right now. Oh yeah, we start in April. That's right. I can't look at the calendar either. We start in Daggum April. Alright, well with that said. Time to meet up with Big E. And... See what she has to say. So, you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. And that makes a lot more sense. She's like, I'm trying to take this place down. Why do you have to sign up here? I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbelk. Oh, trust me. I will not forget your name. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. And I don't see princess when I look at her. I, I see emperor. Or future emperor. Which another thing is, it's interesting that she chose the... Uh, masculine version of emperor instead of you know empress i think that fits her as well but just another notation i wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the black eagles i hope you've had a chance to meet everyone would you like to know more about any of the black eagles it's weird to hear it so often black eagles in the game at least yeah let's get started with the bottom to the west of fodlan is an archipelago called bridget Petra is the granddaughter of their king. My god. Damn it all. Okay. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. She's smart? I didn't know that. Okay. Dorothea? Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House. But Dorothea is an exception. Yeah? She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers Academy. Opportunity. But alright. Bernadetta. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. Seems? I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave, but... Don't worry, I'll make sure she finds her way to class. You know, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> the scariest person you wouldn't want to be on the, like I was thinking of, um, she had supports with Ingrid and Leone, though Leone didn't really come after her. Leone and every other support besides ours is cool, but anyways. Um, but definitely, if you have to choose between Ingrid and Edelgard, don't, don't, don't get on Edelgard's bad side. All right. Um, Casper. He's the second son of Count Burgley's. Second? He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. Really? Huh. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Roger that. Okay. Linhart? He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. Yeah. He's also fond of, well, napping. 
If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. Okay. Ferdinand. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. Yeah. His house is that of Duke Aya, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is perhaps too pleased with its own status. Interesting. I can certainly see that. I mean, I. Yeah, I, I, I would have said the same thing. Hubert? Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. Yep. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but <laughs> yeah. actually that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. Get past it? The man flat out roasted me when we were fighting. I'm like, all right, Hubert. All right. And then last but not least, you. Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. But there's little to be done. Hmm. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Not in the slightest, but... Okay. I appreciate your effort. Let's go. How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. Can't say nothing, sir, that the Eureta. The black eagles, the blue lions, and the golden deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. I have. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Okay. We've done the golden deer. We've done the blue lions. So it is time to finally start the Black Eagles. So you have Eagles. chosen the Black Eagles led by Edelgard, correct? I have. Your heart has made its choice. Then. Oh! <laughs> All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. We're in the bloods now. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. It's so red. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. And this is not seem friendly to Flane. I am in the middle of something, Flane. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. I feel like I betrayed her. More importantly, who is this? <sighs> Have we made a decision yet? We don't know. This is our newest professor at the Academy. But the reality of what I'm doing is starting to hit me. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. I know. Flame's another one. Like, I didn't quite mention it. It's not that I consider Flame to be a Golden Deer member, but... She was also in our, my permadeath run. She has also never died. So... Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. Yeah. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Roger that. Now can I meet them now? Here we Wait, go. So our new professor is you? I didn't see that one coming. I can see that. Easy, Caspar. Aren't you being a bit rude? No, um, I know him by now. You know it's a waste of time to expect politeness from him. 
It will be a pleasure learning from you, Professor. Really? I'm glad to hear it, Linhart. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. Bruh. Never mind. Wow. Don't look at me like that. Oh, and please don't talk to me too much either. Oh, come on, Bernadetta. We had so much history. Bruh. bruh. <sighs> I'm sorry for the chaos you've walked into. Get out of all three of the introductions, sheesh! I hear we are rather close in age, Professor. Are we really? I hope you do not mind if we treat you like one of us. Well, I don't mind, but I am, at the end of the day, I'm the Professor, so if I say some things, I need you guys to follow my orders. In our class, we try to treat each other as equals, despite any differences in age or status. Really? Fascinating. We'll see how that works. Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. So y'all want to be buddy buddies from jump, huh? I don't have a choice. You have a gut, Professor. I will take great joy from your teachings. Petra, I believe you mean to say that our professor has gut. I was about to say. That's a bit different from having a gut. That was a bit odd. You can't go around saying someone so slim and attractive has a gut. Dorothea, stop it. It's not working. Oh, uh, please take my apologies. I have not yet mastered this language. Oh, no worries. I, I picked that up. Professor, I want you to know that it's perfectly acceptable for you to treat me as you do the others. <laughs> <laughs> you serious? Can't do that, Edelgard, but thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> we have too much history. I may be the Imperial Princess, but here at the Academy, I'm just another student. Nah. You're the only one I'm saying. You're not just another student. That said, know that I have high expectations of you and high hopes, but I'm certain you can lead the Black Eagle House to greatness. We shall see. Sure, sure. Now let's break the ice with a training session. I want to see our new teacher in action. Why will the ice be broken? Is this a custom I have missed in my studies? Honestly, I found that when studying a different language, figuring out the little sayings that they say is one of the hardest things. I don't think break the ice. Well, it might be in a, a English, if, in a book to study English, the English language, but um. Like, especially with the current lingo, it, it's nearly impossible to at least learn about. You have to, you know, get real life experience. It's not real ice, just the ice of, um, well, it just means let's get to know each other. I actually wonder what the origin of that is. I might look it up after this. I don't want to train. Let's stay in the classroom and learn from a book. Bernie. Let's all calm down and have a nice cup of tea, how about? Doesn't that sound lovely, Professor? Uh, not, too not too much of a fan of tea. My goodness, this is chaos. This is absolute. I get why that person said the comment that they said. Um, on, you know, their argument for why I should choose the Black Eagles. This is chaos. Not to say that the Golden Deer weren't chaos too, but this is, from first impressions, you get the impression that this is gonna be a long journey. I know we all agreed to treat each other as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tolerate. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like your first job will be to quiet down this racket. I don't envy you. I can imagine you wouldn't. Uh, they're not normally this rowdy. Are you sure? I do hope you can manage, Professor. Yeah, I, I, you know what? I know what the word is. I know what the word is, and I've been trying to avoid saying it. It's cute. You what? Edelgard seems cute. You will never hear me say that again. <laughs> well, maybe you will. I don't know, all right? I don't know. Look at my birthday. A week after this game starts, man. In fact, was that? Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. Yeah, I remember this. You don't know about crests? Well, 
allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I would like to skip this part, but... Crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. Life. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. But that is true. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. And yeah. I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. So thinking about it, neither one of my parents probably had a crest because my crest is from Seros. I mean, so this. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. There's no need to look into it. I most strongly disagree. There absolutely is a need. My crest research is of critical importance to the church, I'll have you know. Since you are now a professor here, I must insist that you aid in my research. I'm choosing interesting options because, like I said, I decided once I started this, I'm going to choose... I'm going to act differently, alright? And I'm going to support Edelgard through this entire route, like I said. So, I don't mind being a bit abrasive in this route. Of course, there are those who lack the foresight to aid in my endeavors, such as that stubborn Seteth. But such individuals are the rare exception. Well, yeah, because Seteth knows. He has the genuine article. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! I can imagine. How many years he's been studying? Uh, pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Hmm, what could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. All right. And here we are with the happy music. With each moon, professors of the Officers Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions... Well, I know. I know. All right. Well, let's get started. First, let me get my stuff. Yeah, let me get that chalice. Yeah. I'm probably gonna give it to Edelgard, thinking about it. All right. So, yeah, forget this noise, S. Yeah, no, 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 no. I am getting my stuff back. 
Where, uh, right, I don't have any weapons. Abilities? It's all my abilities? Well, for right now, just, uh, grab... Wind Sweep. Oh, well, actually, yeah. That was my three. I won't get anything up. Wait, what? what? Where is it at? We might be in a different route. Oh. I probably shouldn't. I'll take, uh... I'll take Gerald's Mercenaries for now. And I'll get my authority up back normally. Getting Claws Battalion at this stage would be OP. Okay. Not only that... So see, look at this. So I got Inferred Dance C, Linhardt's B, Casper C, Burnedetta B, Dorothea B, Petra B, and of course everybody else. Well, I did get these, but the game doesn't know that. And I did get those. Not like Scythius, but the game, again, the game doesn't know that. What? What? What is this? Don't tell me. Oh no. Hold on. Hold on, I gotta go to Happy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's, they're not here yet. Hold up. You know what, everybody? I think I do have to redo this. You got to be kidding me. This is flames. Then where? How do I? It must have gone with the f one I had first. Oh great! All right, for right now, I won't worry about it too much. Either way, I'd still want to uh, do this. Dang it, I can't, I can't believe I did that. Alright, well let's talk to Edelgard. Some believe the dignity of the Empire rests on the results of the mock battle. That's an overstatement, of course. Right. Still, we must do our best to prevail. You should take the time to learn each student's abilities. Perhaps some extra lessons and training sessions are in order? Oh, believe me. You look as if you have no idea what's going on here. I know my way around, so I'm happy to help you find your footing. I'm good. Dimitri and Claude are the leaders of the other two houses. Do not underestimate them. Oh, believe me. That's the last thing I'm gonna do. When we take the field, it would be best not to engage the both of them at once. I know. I know. Listen to this. Wow, Yuritsa sure seems strong. Hmm. I kind of thought he was gonna be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. What do you mean, ran away? I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. Was that part of the plan, too? I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. Well, I could probably take you, though. Not a chance. Oh, you really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. You're an axe user, Casper. I'm a sword wielder. It's not gonna happen, bro. What? I care nothing of friendship. If you have no business here, leave. <sighs> All right. Ernan. Let me tell you the provenance of our class name. All right. The Eagle. That refers to the twin-headed eagle on the Adrestian Empire's coat of arms. And black is the traditional color of the Empire's armor. Hence, Black Eagles. Is it more, like, red? Black being your traditional color, man. That don't send off some warning flags. Hello. Hi, Professor. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? If you're not busy, would you like to join me on a little trip into town? Actually, uh, I got some stuff I got to take care of. If I'm cooped up in this dusty old monastery for too long, it drives me absolutely crazy. Oh, the dude has a quest for me? Let me know when you are hungry. I will make you a quality meal, as thanks for your service to His Highness. Oh, I appreciate that, man. 
I have a request. I heard about the upcoming mock battle. I want you to know, Professor, that I do not intend to lose. I hereby declare my intention to prevail at... Goodness, listen to me. The thrill of competition has carried me away. I won't speak so formally of a class assignment in the future. Oh, really? All right. Clark. Hey, Teach. I hear there's going to be a mock battle between the houses. I'm not going to lie. I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us. What do you say? I can't do that, man. You're too strong. Dad, come Oh, Professor. Have you adjusted to life at the Academy yet? Uh, like, look at this one right here. Me? I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. Petra? Oh yes, I'm aware of the dining hall. Professor, I hope you know I am having great abilities for reading and writing. Mm. But with sadness, I still have struggles with speaking. I see. If my ways of speak... Uh, of speech are causing a burden i hope you will have forgiveness oh it's no problem it's no problem at all <sighs> hello there professor hey flane well i call you that but i am afraid i am not a student here myself that's a shame should the opportunity arise I would love to become a student and begin my studies in earnest. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Linhart? <sighs> the great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. I'll say now I'm feeling sleepy too. Oh, no. I mean, I could just regain all their ranks, but, like, no, it's not the point. We're starting from scratch, from even Bernadette. Well, there's Dorothea, Hilda, and Mercedes. Lady Rhea is quite the beauty, too. And I must admit, I've even checked out Professor Manuela once or twice. Are those, uh... So, basically, he's saying who he thinks... Yeah, because in the Golden Deer, you got Leone. Marianne, who... Okay, yeah, like I said, we go Golden Deer didn't look. <laughs> and Lysithia, who's like, nah, he wouldn't touch those, so. Nah, he wouldn't touch them, so. Uh, and then in the Black Eagles, oh, Petra's 15, maybe the age difference? And then there's Berendetta, and I don't think he <laughs> wants to touch Edelgard as well, so yeah, I guess those choices make sense from him, for him. You know, Professor, I think I'm going to like it at the Officer's Academy. There are beautiful girls as far as the eye can see. <laughs> Professor? But I came for the quest. To I'm gonna pretty much skip any Blue Lion or Golden Deer combos, unless I feel they're absolutely necessary, because I know them. The exceptions, I think, will be Lysithia and Mercedes, because they'll be in the party eventually. The others, we'll see. I don't like to come out unless I really have to. I know. Hope you're okay with that, Professor. Well, kind of have to be. I don't got a choice. All right. So that should take care of everything. So what I'm gonna do now is that, unfortunately, maybe I have. Um... Oh wait, first, let's do the dining hall. I'll take. I could. Yeah. Just cuz. Let's do it. Edelgard and Lysithia. Oh, I love this meal. How did you know? I'm starting to get engraved into the Black Eagle route. Like, um... <laughs> I'm starting to look at Edelgard more and more as, yeah, she's my house leader right now. Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. This seems so weird, though. Like, they've been on opposite sides of the battlefield for a minute. And they have a rank.
Nice. I knew I could count on you. All right. So with that said, I think um, what I'm going to do now is I am going to redo all of this because absolutely not happy must be in this route. Or she, her S rank is the one I am saving. So I'm probably gonna have to delete all the other attempts and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's the only way I can think about doing it. So. Uh, with that being said, this has been Blade. We are start. Well, actually, I don't know if this is the end of the episode. I imagine it's actually a halfway point. I wanted to go further, but can't exactly do that right now. So, uh, I guess I'll meet you guys back. And now it is time for the question of the day. And I gotta say, the Black Eagles are already starting off to be very interesting in a good way i can tell there are going to be a lot of interesting character moments that i'm going to be looking forward to uh in the future and what's really getting me is how edelgard is acting right now because it's not how i know her to be right and now i'm starting like I said during this entire Golden Deer and Blue Lion playthrough, I don't know the true Edelgard. I think I got a good glimpse into who that is when she had her conversation with Dimitri. But now I'm starting to see, you know, I'm front row, front and center. And it's not, that's not so much my priority right now. Now I'm just trying to go through the route. And just, you know, go for a ride, see where it takes me, and see what my decision is after the ride's over. Though I will say, I think, I'm glad I didn't do the Black Eagle route first. Um, well, yes and no, I think, but I'm saying mainly from the, the whole reason I chose the Golden Deer route instead of the Black Eagle route. Because it was neck and neck, and when I had uploaded that episode at the time, the comments were even. Yes, they got more Black Eagle fans later after I had already recorded the next episode, but what I'm trying to say is the difference was that I thought in the Black Eagle characters there would be characters that I clashed with uh, versus the Golden Deer. And for me, I think with the opening starting team, I had rather preferred to have a team that, especially when it, you were thinking that my first route was permadeath, I feel that the Golden Deer was definitely the house that I wanted to start with first. But I am not saying the Black Eagle route is by at all a bad house from what I've seen. You know, I'm actually really enjoying what I am seeing so far, which brings us to the question of the day. Which house do you think had the best introduction for you? All right, this is strictly for you. We're, there's no tier, right? I feel it's just based on personal preferences. I think each one of them, it it gives you an idea of what you're in for, for that. Well, I mean, granted, I don't know what the Black Eagles have in the future. I mean, they kind of have an idea, but, you know, based on, I mean, the Flame Emperor being Edelgard is going to be a big part. That is definitely true. Um, just like in the Blue Lions, Dimitri's turn, and also Edelgard being the Flame Emperor was a big part. Golden Deer were kind of just, you know, off to the side and chill. But either way, I'm curious to see which introduction you guys like the best. And also, if you can mention if that was your first house when mentioning it, because I'm wondering if that also had an influence on what, which one you thought was best. So with that being said, please post your thoughts down in the comments below, and I will see you all next time.